Jalan. Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. Also, if you guys like to support your independent artist, your boy, Cash App, dollar sign, Michael U.S., Young Dogs Killer Snitched, and... For good reason, too. Nigga didn't get paid. <laughs> he only got paid $800 when he initially was supposed to get paid $40,000, $50,000. It was $100,000 total, and they were supposed to split that money up. And the nigga only received $800, and he's in that courtroom pointing out everybody who was involved. Pointing out everybody. Let's check this out. This is crazy. Suspected shooter Justin Johnson is facing life in prison for this deadly shooting. Let's go right live to the courtroom. Judge Jennifer Johnson has just reconvened. I watch this. This is a process. Ain't no jury. Ain't no popping bottles. It's real life. Watch, watch, watch. This is so crazy. That all there ain't no rap music. There ain't no popping bottles. There ain't no uh uh celebration. There ain't no strippers. There ain't no none of that. This is real life. It's quiet. It's eerie. And 
it was on the jury. It was nine white women, two black men. And I think somebody. Let me see. Trying to see where they uh said who was on the trial. Oh, here we go. The jury consists of 12 people from Davidson County, including nine white women, two black men, one white man. So the jury had 10 white folks, and this nigga is going to be gone forever. That's crazy. Juror number 23, is that your verdict? And just like that, his life is over. Just like that. Look at this. <clears throat> you just heard the verdict and the jury poll live here. And in the trial, prosecution said Anthony Big Jug Mims, part of CMG record label, put a hit on Dolph. Mims was killed last December. On Fox 13, that is defendant Justin Johnson, now found guilty of first-degree murder, guilty of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder, and guilty on the third charge of being a felon in possession of a handgun. Of course, we've heard testimony over the past four days in this trial. Johnson, the lone defendant in this one particular trial, guilty as charged, now facing life in prison. Y'all see that? Y'all see that with them? The, the jury was 10 white folks and two blacks. That was it. Nine white women. Nine white women. Two white men. I'm sorry. Nine white women. One white man. Two blacks. Over. Over. Somebody, your life is in somebody else's hand. It's over. And they snitch. The man snitched because they wouldn't get paid. Let's look at this too. Now I'm going to give y'all my opinion. We're going we're gonna to jump into this thing right here. Young dog murder trial prosecutor explained why Liz Are you tired of your hair breaking after waiting years for it to grow? New Pantene with more pro vitamins here. plus biotin and collagen repairs as well as the The jury presiding over the trial for the murder of Young Dolph heard closing statements from lawyers on Thursday, September 26. But these remarks left some lingering questions. Most importantly, the court did not hear from the attack's alleged mastermind, Hernandez Govin. Instead, Justin Johnson, the alleged gunman in the case, was the only one who stood trial as Cornelius Smith. That's the other guy that was involved. The other alleged gunman confessed to murder in a testimony on Monday, September 23rd, and stated that Johnson was his accomplice. So this is where he snitched. Cornelius snitched on Justin. The other alleged gunman, which is Cornelius, confessed to the murder in, in testimony on Monday, September 23rd, and stated that Johnson was his accomplice. Damn. On the other hand, Goldman was expected to testify against his co-defendant Johnson, but never took the stand. Prosecutors in the Young Dolph murder trial had some interesting explanations for this. I don't want to go into too much detail. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Morrow expressed to the journalists on the scene. But... Okay, so that's pretty much. And this after this dude has got a life sentence, he's never coming home. This is the shooter. This is the other shooter. These niggas taking criminal responsibility. I'm taking street responsibility. Regardless, I'm forever the biggest. They can throw away the keys before I ever eat the cheese. This man is still taking pride in killing another black man. This man is still in his mind. Said they just gave you a life sentence. You about to be locked away with booty bandits. You about to be locked away with murderers, child molesters. This is where you going. These are going to be your buddies. These are going to be your roommates. 
people that do unholy things to children, unholy things to women, sadistic people, sinister people. This, this, he's going with his own. It look like he's look like he's going home. He's, he's right where he needs to be. He's right with his type of foes. It seemed like this dude has some sense. He's like, look, I'm just in it for the money. I didn't get paid, and everybody's going down with me. Everybody going down with me. Smith previously admitted to firing the shots that killed young Dolph, a legend that Yo Gotti's brother, Big Juke, had put a $100,000 hit on the rapper. He alleged that he met with him and Hernandez Govan, who's accused of being the mastermind behind the shooting. At that point, he alleged that he was paired with Johnson for the shooting. Govan didn't take the stand despite being expected to testify against Johnson. Let's see. Any more details, man? This is crazy. Let me pull up now. I don't know how this fool still hold on to this street code, but like I said, maybe he needs to be there. Maybe he wants to be there. Does he realize he's even there? And he look he look crazy too if you look at him. If you really look at this nigga, he look crazy. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this Rooted in the Music TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Young Dolph, one of the legends, one of the greatest to ever do it. Shout out Mother F in Memphis. Where you at? Where you at? It's a sad day, you know, because Young Dolph lost his life. This man lost his life. Two others, Govin, he, they about to get that nigga too. They uh, got Cornelia Smith. He ratted. Now he's labeled as a snitch. And he still didn't get his money. So it's a lose-lose for him. But he's, I think he hit up Dolph, but he just wanted the money. But with this guy, he did all this in hopes of being a big rapper. He said, if you knock off Dolph, we'll give you a rap career. You knocked off another black man for a rap career. It wasn't just hitting them up, crippling them. I mean, you... I mean, you, they put rounds in Young Dolph. They put a whole bunch of rounds into Young Dolph. I mean, gunned him down like a dog in the street for a few chains to party with some hoes for some women who don't even care about you. This is crazy. But I can't judge a man because when a man, when desires and um, lust of money, lust of women, lust of power comes upon a man, everybody reacts different. But as a, as a man, you got to start thinking. You understand what I'm saying? You got to put everything in perspective. You got to think about the long run. The other guy that snitched, he going he going to jail. He's still going to jail, even though he snitched. He's still going to jail. And then when you hit the yard, wherever you going, everybody know you will snitch. You you know you you will snitch your way out. You will do what you got to do. Now I really think he snitched because he felt play. Like okay, I took this man's life, and y'all not gonna pay me. You dealing with cutthroat people. You dealing with people who don't give a damn. Now it's starting to realize in Cornelia Smith, the second gunman, that he was disposable. They never planned on paying him, so they got rid of Dolph for the low, and everybody lost. Big Juke, he got gunned down. Cornelia's going to jail. Govin going to jail. Justin Johnson, he going to jail. Young Dolph is killed. They killed a uh, black youngster's brother. I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy, crazy. But y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about Cornelia Smith snitching because he didn't get paid? Well, what do y'all think about Justin Johnson after murdering Young Dolph still holding on to the street code? 250 capital G, Rooted in Music TV, I'm gone.